Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here with what I think is going to be a super easy scrappy quilt block. I am using just all different prints. Nothing has to match with this one. And I have picked sizes that I sell for those of you who happen to have fabric that I sell. But you don't need my fabric. You are going to be able to cut these squares all on your own. And it's such a good way to use up scraps because each block is going to take some 2-inch squares. And we can get 2-inch squares out of almost any scrap. So here's what you need for one block. It should end up about 9 inches square. You need one 6.5-inch square. You need three three and a half inch squares. See, I have all three different. And you need eight two inch squares. And I have all eight different prints. You know, some people like to cut their squares and store them. I don't really suggest that because things can get thready. I suggest you just, you know, sort your scraps if you think these scraps will be good for two inch squares, then put the scraps in a bin and cut them when you're ready to use them. So here's how we do this. We're going to take our eight two inch squares and we're going to make two four patch blocks. And it doesn't matter what goes with what. So let's just start that. I'm going to send two through and two more. And then two more and the last two. Now I shall uh, snip these guys off and I'm going to just take uh, whatever two finger press I don't want too much purple all together, so let's put these uh, two together like that to make a little four patch. Now let's get this guy and we'll make this little four patch. Ooh, I like it just like that. Okay, that's all the piecing that we have to do um, before we put the block together because the others are already cut to size. And you have a couple of choices, but here's the way I'm going to do it. You're going to take your six and a half inch block. Let me back you up a little bit for this. And then you're going to have a four patch here and a four patch here. And then a three inch square here, here, and here. I'm actually going to put that one there because I like, oh, I like that green with that green over there. So it's hard to see. Let me show you a little bit better. So it goes three and a half four patch, three and a half, four patch, three and a half. And this is our six and a half right here. So now I'm just going to take, move this. I'm going to take these two pieces and sew those together. And send those through. Now I'm going to take the two on the bottom. I'm just remembering where they go. Hopefully I can remember. <laughs> Snip this guy off and this goes on the side of this and this is going on the bottom of it. So I'm going to do that. I know usually I show you at the table but I only wanted to do one camera and I felt like talking to you at my sewing machine tonight. Now let me take this guy off, finger press. This is going on the bottom of this and that's going to fit nicely. 
So I'm putting that right there. Now we're going to put our two pieces together and we will be done. This is so quick and easy and it's going to end up making a, you know, a nice size square. So now I'm going to, oh, all right, I was twisted there. I'm going to put this all together. I remember I had a yellow here and the green there and this is how it goes. Let me go press it. I was able to trim this to nine inches square and it is awesome. I'll show you some close-ups at the end. Now I want to tell you, don't worry about matching up intersections. And when you trim, don't worry if you take like more off one end than the other, you know, so that maybe these little squares would be a little smaller than the other block. If you can get all nine inch squares, that's all you care about. Slap them together. It's meant to be scrappy in two ways. Scrappy, meaning you're going to be using your scraps, and it can be scrappy in how it's constructed, meaning intersections don't have to match at all. And when you put them together, you have choices. Always, my favorite would be to do like a big four patch. I like the diagonals to be the same, like this big square would be pointing in on the diagonal and then in the other direction the big square would be pointing out like that. And um, But you can twist them and turn them any way you want and uh, just put them all together. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!